Open Art just jumped in the AI lip sync game and they went big with four popular AI lip sync models to pick from. I've been trying out all four of those models. I'll show you the results that each one of them produced and then we'll do one together so you can see how to use Open Art to create your own AI lip sync video. Open Art, who's sponsoring this video, is an AI image and video platform with tons of tools and models for creating and editing AI images and videos. For each of the lip sync videos that we're about to look at, I use the same starting image and the same audio that I created on 11 Labs. The first batch of results we'll look at are from OmniHuman, a model by ByteDance, and the same AI lip sync model that's used on Dramina. My neighbor's been practicing the trumpet every night. I'm either going to move out or maybe I'll just join in with the kazoo and we'll see who cracks first. The lip sync, how well the mouth looks like it's forming the sounds we hear at the time we hear them, is pretty good. It didn't do so good with her teeth, but the background animation looks good. At a small size, like on a phone, this would probably be fine. I just realized I'm five miles from the nearest bathroom. And I think that gas station burrito was a bad idea. Her teeth are messed up and her tongue's out too far in a few spots. The bigger issue is that the waves in the background are in slow-mo and some of the water ain't moving at all. If you think nothing exciting ever happens in a small town, let me tell you, Miss Patty's pie baking contest last summer darn near ended with a food fight. The lip sync is really good, but his hands look awful. Sometimes they're just a blur and sometimes they're deformed and that just ruins it. When you dropped food on the floor and picked it up before I could get it, that wasn't hygiene. It was betrayal. AI lip sync tools are generally not good with pets, but OmniHuman did as well or better than any AI lip sync tool I've tried when it comes to creating a lip sync of a dog. But I don't like how this woman appears and starts talking with her blurry hand to emphasize the words the dog is saying. Now we've got my character Reed singing a song that I created on Suno about getting a YouTube video ready to upload. My screen is full of clips and effects Along with some graphics and a little text Camera to screen, make it flow just right Trim the dead space, dial in the light Craft a title that really rings Make a thumbnail with a little zing It's taking too long to finish this thing Gotta get it done and see what it brings. I'm gonna upload it tonight. His teeth morph a bit here and there, and his eyeball does too. But what's really strange about this one is that he develops these spots on his face as the video plays through. He also gets more wrinkles, redness at his cheekbones, and a more plasticky appearance throughout the video. The next round of results are from the Open Art lip sync model. Funny story about that, I had reached out to Open Art and told them that I was getting a lot of positive comments about an AI lip sync model called Infinite Talk and maybe they'd consider adding it. Of course they were already on it. They told me that the Open Art lip sync model is based on Infinite Talk with some optimization. So let's see what that looks like. My neighbor's been practicing the trumpet every night. I'm either going to move out or maybe I'll just join in with the kazoo and we'll see who cracks first. The lip sync is really close. Again, it'd probably be great on a small screen. It doesn't do any morphy stuff or cartoon teeth. Her facial expressions, eyes, and body language all fit and the background animation looks good. I just realized I'm five miles from the nearest bathroom. And I think that gas station burrito was a bad idea. The lip sync isn't perfect, but I appreciate that it isn't exaggerated. Her expressions and movements, like her eyes and hands, track with what she's saying, and the animation of the background is much better than what OmniHuman did. If you think nothing exciting ever happens in a small town, let me tell you, Miss Patty's pie baking contest last summer darn near ended with a food fight. The lip sync did okay right up until the end where he was a little late opening his mouth to say food fight. Otherwise, this one didn't do the blurry, disfigured hands flapping around or weird eyes. When you dropped food on the floor and picked it up before I could get it, that wasn't hygiene. It was betrayal. He had a little trouble with the word betrayal, but maybe he was choked up thinking about the situation. But this is still pretty good for a dog lip sync. Not quite as good as OmniHuman did with this one, but it also didn't add a random woman in there. My screen is full of clips and effects, along with some graphics and a little text. Camera to screen, make it flow just right. Trim the dead space, dial in the light. Craft a title that really rings. Make a thumbnail with a little zing. It's taking too long to finish this thing. Gotta get it done and see what it brings. I'm gonna upload it tonight. 
The lip sync here is good. His expressiveness and body language are realistic. He's not like a statue, but also not overdoing it. And unlike Omnihuman, Open Art didn't have a bunch of marks develop on his face or turn him more plasticky as the video went on. And I like what it did with the lights in the background. Rather than keeping them static, it made a subtle little light show happen. The next model we've got is a fan favorite, Hedra. My neighbor's been practicing the trumpet every night. I'm either going to move out or maybe I'll just join in with the kazoo and we'll see who cracks first. The lip movements didn't match the sounds we hear in a few places. The expressiveness is good, but it's a bit much for this scene. And that's a criticism I hear about Hedra and Omnihuman sometimes is that the characters can be a little bit too animated. In this one, we even see that with the background characters whose movements seem a little too rhythmic or something. I just realized I'm five miles from the nearest bathroom. And I think that gas station burrito was a bad idea. Her lips are forming the way we'd expect for the sounds we're hearing, and I think the expressiveness is good without being too much for this one. The background animation works, as long as you don't look at it too closely, but she has different teeth there at one point compared to the rest of the video. If you think nothing exciting ever happens in a small town, let me tell you, Miss Patty's pie baking contest last summer darn near ended with a food fight. I guess for a cartoon it might be acceptable, but for the most part his mouth and lip movements aren't lining up the way I'd expect for the sounds to be coming out. Out of them. Aside from that, his body movement looks fine. I think we kind of expect a little exaggerated animation in a cartoon, so it works. When you dropped food on the floor and picked it up before I could get it, that wasn't hygiene. It was betrayal. The problem here is that the dog's body is moving way more than his mouth. Again, AI lip sync tools aren't great at pets, and many of them tell you it probably won't work. But I keep trying anyway, because so many people ask about it, and like we saw with Omnihuman and Open Art Lip Sync, some tools are getting really close. My screen is full of clips and effects, along with some graphics and a little text. Camera to screen, make it flow just right. Trim the dead space, dial in the light. Craft a title that really rings. Make a thumbnail with a little zing. It's taking too long to finish this thing. Gotta get it done and see what it brings. I'm gonna upload it tonight. I've looked at Hedra so many times and for so long that all I can think of when I see this is that's Hedra. Like it has its own style, the jitteriness, the slightly awkward lip sync and frequent looking to the side. That stuff along with the 720p output gives it a familiar but somewhat quirky look. Now on to our last AI lip sync model, Kling. My neighbor's been practicing the trumpet every night. I'm either going to move out or maybe I'll just join in with the kazoo and we'll see who cracks first. The mouth movement seems to be a little flat along with the facial movement. The eyebrow raise is great, but the rest of her face just doesn't move much. The background animation's good and it didn't do anything weird like cartoon teeth. I just realized I'm five miles from the nearest bathroom. And I think that gas station burrito was a bad idea. Her teeth and tongue are a little fuzzy, maybe jittery, and just a little off for a good bit of this one. Most of the other models have had her look away for a second during the pause, and I think that worked better than having her fixed on the camera without ever blinking. But it did a fine job with the waves and the water in the background. If you think nothing exciting ever happens in a small town, let me tell you. Miss Patty's pie baking contest last summer darn near ended with a food fight. Strange things are happening in this guy's mouth. It goes blurry, then it almost looks like it wants to be photorealistic at one point, and then it looks like there's a fried egg in there. Kling wouldn't even try to lip sync the dog. Instead, I got this message. The model did not detect a human. Come on, Kling. Dogs are people, too. My screen is full of clips and effects, along with some graphics and a little text. Camera to screen, make it flow just right. Trim the dead space, dial in the light. Craft a title that really rings Make a thumbnail with a little zing It's taking too long to finish this thing Gotta get it done and see what it brings I'm gonna upload it tonight it seems like Kling did better with this one than it did with the other characters. There were a few little misses in there, but overall it was decent. And if you're wondering about his hand repeatedly dropping and then going back to the mic, that was in the base video I gave it, not something the lip sync added. To create an AI lip sync video on open art from the main page under video, click lip sync video. Up at the top, click the select model drop down and pick a model. We'll start with open art lip sync. Next, we need to give it a visual. Now it has video image or character here. If you select video, it'll switch the model automatically to cling. That's the only one right now that uses a starting video. 
For the other three models, you can use an image, or if you've created a consistent character on OpenArt, you can just pick your character. But even if I will be using one of my characters, I prefer to go ahead and create the image on the image generation page. That way I can get everything dialed in the way that I want before I bring it into the lip sync. For this one, we'll be using an image. If you click the select image button, you can either upload an image or you can pick something from your history of things you've generated here on OpenArt. Or you can just drag and drop your image in that panel. For the open art lip sync model, you can also give it a prompt about what you want to be going on in the scene. That's optional though, so you can leave that blank. Next, we need some audio. We can either record that right here, upload the audio file. The duration needs to be between one and 90 seconds for the open art lip sync model. Or if you click the history button, you can grab audio that you've generated here on open art. OpenArt has audio over here on the left menu. That brings you into the audio creation page. OpenArt uses 11 labs for their text-to-speech. You can choose from one of the 11 labs models. Then in this box, type or paste in your script up to 10,000 characters. Choose a voice. They've got quite a few of the 11 labs voices to pick from. Then down at the bottom, click the create button. Your generated audio pops up over here on the right side. You can play to preview. You can download it. And it'll also save it in the history so that when we're in the lip sync tool, let's go back over there now if we wanted to use that audio for our ai lip sync we click history we'll see all the audio that we've generated here on open art we can just select whichever one we want in this case i've only got one confirm and it'll use that audio for the lip sync that's not what i want to do so i'm going to hit cancel and i'm going to drag in the audio that i've already created and now with our model selected our image provided our audio uploaded just hit create Let's do one with OmniHuman. Your options for the visual and the audio are the same as for the open art model, except that there's no prompt to fill in. And here under the audio, it says the max duration is 15 seconds. I didn't notice that before I uploaded that 29 second singing audio and it worked just fine. So I'm not sure what that's about. For Hedra, just like the last two, it's either an image or a character you've created on open art as your visual. Give it a prompt if you want. And then the same options for the audio. Either record, grab something you created in the audio section here on open art or upload your audio file up to 60 seconds. Now our last model is Kling and that requires a starting video. So we'll select that model. Then to turn my image into a video, I'll come up to image to video. I'll drag in the image of my guy. OpenArt has a ton of video generation models to choose from. They've got the new Kling 2.5 along with Kling's older versions, the WAN 2.2, VO3, Minimax's Hilu 02, and several more to pick from. I'll just stick with Kling 2.5. To create these base videos, I usually use something like the man and speaks calmly while looking directly into the camera, or depending on what you're gonna have him say, you might wanna say he's speaking frantically or excitedly or whatever you wanna do with him. I've also tried just telling it to have the person sitting there like they're listening. Sometimes that works better, sometimes not so much. Then select a duration, five or 10 seconds. Our audio says it's five seconds, but I'm not sure if it's exactly five or it's a little over five. So I guess we better go with 10 seconds and we'll click create. We'll go back over to lip sync video. Now for the visual, we'll select video. We'll say history. It's our very last one here. So we'll grab that and click confirm. The audio is already in place. Since we have a 10 second video with a five or so second audio, we're gonna have a lot of silent part there at the end of our lip sync video. If this video was five seconds and the audio was 10 seconds, then our lip sync video would just cut off at five seconds. There's no prompt or settings with Kling. Go ahead and click create. And here's how the four models did with that lip sync. I tried to fix a leaky faucet myself, and now, my bathroom looks like it's auditioning to be a water park. I tried to fix a leaky faucet myself, and now, my bathroom looks like it's auditioning to be a water park. I tried to fix a leaky faucet myself, and now, my bathroom looks like it's auditioning to be a water park. I tried to fix a leaky faucet myself, and now, my bathroom looks like it's auditioning to be a water park. I don't think the AI lip sync results from Kling are all that spectacular. And since I'm usually starting from an image of my character that I want to lip sync, Kling adds an extra step because first I have to convert it to a video. And I have to get that video to be the exact same length as my audio. Otherwise, it either ends up cutting off or I have silent video left at the end to trim off later. I'm kind of fond of Hedra, but that might be because it's the first AI lip sync that I ever used and its quirkiness just seems kind of familiar. OmniHuman didn't do so hot in these tests, but I have seen it work really well when I've used it before. Now others have pointed out that it's pretty expensive, and that's true. It's the most expensive model available here on OpenArt, and it's expensive anywhere else I've seen it. The folks that commented on my other videos and suggested checking out Infinite Talk are definitely onto something, because OpenArt Lip Sync, which uses Infinite Talk, 
is pretty good. Not perfect, nothing in AI is perfect, but it's doing as well as or better than any of the AI lip sync tools that I've tried, and I've tried a lot. So which one of these AI lip sync models do you think is the best? Leave a comment and let me know. And if you don't have a favorite yet, you can try all four of them on OpenArt, all under one subscription, all in one place. I'll leave a link to OpenArt in the description so you can check it out. Now for the singing video, I use OpenArt's AI lip sync tool, but they also have this story feature where you can create a music video. And with this, you want to select the sing option here, and that'll create a lip sync music video of not just one single clip, but multiple clips put together. There's all kinds of features and options and a storyboard that you can work with. It's way more than I can go into in this video, but I want to tell you about it in case you're trying to create a singing lip sync video. That might be another tool you want to check out. Hey, my name is Bob. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining, and I hope you come back and join me for another video.